Hi everyone, Letty here. Welcome to day 22 of my Christmas in July crafty series. Today I'm doing a six by six paper pad smash. It's DCWV holiday chair, and I'm making nail file holders and tags. Welcome back everyone. So for hashtag PPP Christmas in July, I am smashing this holiday cheer six by six paper pad by DCWV. I had picked this up at Joann's a while back. I think it was either last year or the year before, you know, released that they had uh, set up, put out. Um, and this is a six by six paper pad. It's double sided. It has 24 sheets. So I have two big projects that I'm going to be doing today. I will show you both of them and I'll do a super quick tutorial on one of them. Here are the patterns, lots of uh, reds and greens, and there are some pinks in here as well, as well as some darker greens as well, and some gold foil. So again, Holiday Cheer, 24 sheets by DCWV. So this is a six by six smash video. You can see here, I have already smashed this pad. This is again for my hashtag PPP Christmas in July crafty series. Here are the scraps that I had left over, which is pretty much the branding strips and a couple of small little triangles. You'll see why in just a second. So as far as the additional items I used, I did bring in this Busy Sidewalks by Crate Paper. These were puffy stickers I had in my collection. I recently showed a video using this collection. I did use uh, most of this one pack that comes with 41, and I made 24 items with that one, so I used 24. I also used a Cozy Christmas stamp set by Echo Park, and I used this little bitty stamp set right there in the middle. You'll see what I used that for in just a bit. And then Scrapping for Last, uh, this is one of their stamp sets. It had this really cute tag. I had picked it up scrapping uh for less is no longer available but um if you were able to get this stamp set it's really cute so my first project are 48 tags 48 tags a ton of them so what i did was i added some twine to a little scrap of paper that was two and a half by three and a quarter i did add the little triangles on the sides that's why i have so many of those little scrap triangles the twine that i used was approximately nine uh nine inches and it, here is the sentiment that I use, which was that stamp from that little tag set. It is super, super cute. I, well, I think I first picked this up a couple years ago and I loved it. I ended up making 48 of these. You'll see why I had so many. Um, it's because I used the part of the paper that was left over from my first project. And so again, 48 different tags. I thought these would be great to stuff in some bags when I do a craft fair, just as a little freebie gift, or I could bundle them. So uh, project number two was 24 nail file holders. And so so this is a project that I've done on my channel before. I can link my previous tutorial down below. I think I was originally inspired by Beth, who's Bourbon Creek Crafts on this one. Um, so the reason why I made these tags was because my nail file holder paper is three and a half by six, and I had this two and a half inch section on the side. I was originally gonna make some bookmarks, and I decided to just go ahead and break down and make those two tags. You see here the branding strips. That's why I have those branding strips left over, because I had cut them off before I cut down that paper. So. That's what I had left over. So I did use the little puffy stickers on these little bitty tags and that little bitty sentiment that came from the Echo Park stamp set. I added some twine. I did do a circle notch. I pinched the bottom of the little nail file holder. So these are perfect for a craft fair or gifts. So I did purchase in bulk these uh, nail files on Amazon. I do have a link down below. You can buy a pack of 50. I purchased the pack of 100 of these because I thought it was really affordable. Um, but again, you can do a pack of 50. And so for the nail file holder, the paper is three and a half by six inches. We are going to do some scoring. And I also have this little tag that I made. It's a super tiny tag with a little sentiment, a little puffy sticker, and then some twine. And as far as the twine, I'm using about 15 inches of twine per uh, nail file holder. So you put it in with the pattern that you want facing down, and it is a vertical, and you're going to score it on the three and a half inch side at one inch, at one and at one quarter, at two and one quarter, and then at two and a half. And this is all the way down to the bottom. Now at the very, very bottom, you're also gonna wanna score at one and one eighth, just a little bitty like half inch notch, just about half inch up from the bottom, and then also at th two and three eighths. And this is so we can do the little pinch at the bottom of our nail file holders. And so what I also did was I brought in a one inch circle punch, and right in the center, I did like a half notch where I cut out half of the circle at the very top and it's right in the middle of the two larger score lines right there, just like this. Um, so that makes your little notch, that way it's really easy to kind of pull out the nail file um, from your little holder. So you're gonna fold and enforce all of your score lines just like this, and then we will be adding some glue. So I am gonna add glue to this right hand panel 
So I'm gonna add it and then add the left hand side right around it, wrap it around. Let me just add some glue really quickly and then go ahead and wrap around that left hand side just like this. And so here is our little holder. I'm gonna take my bone folder and sort of push down that glue just to kind of make sure that it seals great. So I'm gonna use my bone folder for that. And then you're gonna pinch both of the bottom sides just like this and then just add some glue right on the inside of that little pinch section. And so we can glue this together. So you don't wanna add a ton, you only wanna go up just a very, very little bit, hold it down, remove any excess glue, and that's basically your nail file holder. You could really just keep it just like this. I'm gonna take it one extra step today, and I'm gonna add my little tag that I had. So I'm gonna tie this tag around the top, towards the top, around my nail file holder, and I'm gonna loop it back around to the front. I'm gonna go ahead and tie my knot. I am gonna kind of twist it on its side because I found that it was just easier to do that. Tie a knot, then tie a bow, and then just straighten out my bow just like this. And then what I'll do is I'll bring in some scissors and just even out my little uh, hanging uh, pieces for my bow, my little ends. Just make them kind of even to where they don't hang so much. So that is my finished nail file holder. They're super, super cute in real life. And again, if you buy these nail files in bulk, you can make a ton of these for very affordable. These are a great addition to your craft fairs or for teacher gifts or just to give as gifts, stocking stuffers. You have so many options with these. So again, I made 24 nail file holders. I'm gonna do a little bit of a close up here just to kind of show you. And I'm just gonna keep them in this bag until I'm ready to bag them up. 24 nail file holders. And then I also made 48 tags that again, I'll have ready for craft fairs or whatever I wanna use them for. My, I smashed the pad for the hashtag crafty goals, but then I also uh, used that holiday cheer for the hashtag PPP Christmas in July. So thanks for watching everyone. I hope you're getting a ton of inspiration from these videos. I hope you're enjoying my series. Here's my playlist just in case that has more Christmas crafty creations. As always, happy holiday crafting.